I'm recording this, guys, because I'm having trouble going live with this phone. So, and I can't find uh, what I need to transfer the SIM card into the phone I used for the second half of the... It seems like the iPhones are the only ones that go live the best. So, and this was a cheap used one, I think, that is not working as well. <clears throat> okay, I got a couple things to share with you really quick. I, I need to make this fast because... It'll be harder to upload if it's too long. Uh, my computer's down right now because uh, we're we're moving things around and setting up shelving and all this. So I'm not able to show the video I was going to show of Kim Chadwell. Uh, but she's calling for a three-day fast from December 4th, 5th, and 6th. And you know, not long ago, the Lord had given the word about the spirit of repentance to fall upon this nation. This is really important to the Lord that we get ourselves right with him and repenting, walking in holiness and righteousness, and the ways of God. So anyway, let me get on with the word. Um, if you want to join in, I'm going to do what I can as well, December 4th, 5th, and 6th, to go into a fast as a nation, okay, um, for God's will to be done. So let me just give you what this word is. Um, it was December, December, gosh, it's early, sorry. Um, it was on the 20th this month, November. It was 2.30 in the morning. Um, God gave me a word to a dream I had the night prior. So it was the 19th, I guess, that I had the dream. And this was just an awesome word from the Lord. And I'll tell you what I felt in my spirit as he gave it. Um, anyway, in the dream... I remember I was extremely pregnant. I mean, I was supposed to give birth that day. And that's what I knew in the dream. I was to go to the hospital that day and give birth. You know, I was so ready. And I remember cleaning a container. Um, I remember there was a couple people with me. And so I knew that this was of God because he, he, anything I, I have of dreams from him are very short to the point and very definitely a message. And you just know it. So I knew that giving birth is a good thing. It's giving birth to a new ministry, a new something new that's about to come, you know, come about um, in my life or in our lives as Christians. So I asked the Lord if I was to go live the next day, and I tried outside, and I couldn't do it. So I said, okay, God, there must be more to this. Maybe this is just for me, or am I symbolic of the body of Christ, the bride, the remnant, whatever. So then that night, we had to get up at 2.30 in the morning on the 20th for Deb to go to Texas and to um, see, make sure she got up, make sure she got ready to go and get to the plane. And I came and sat in my chair. I wasn't asking God for a revelation, but guys, he gave it. I'm sitting there, and all of a sudden, he shows me pregnant in the dream, and he says this. Many of my children are about to give birth to a new era. And I'm like, wow, what do you mean by this, God? And he didn't say anything. And then he started to speak. So let me give you this. This was, um, let me see if I can get the date here. This is the 25th that he started giving me this at 5 o'clock in the morning when I was in prayer. Giving birth to a new era. Going into unknown territory, you must walk in full trust and faith in the Lord your God. You must be willing to pay any cost, even unto death. I am preparing an army to go forth. You will be found in situations you never thought possible. But I, the Lord your God, shall be with you, and I will carry you through. You will do things you've never done before, and those who stand beside me shall be victorious. But those who have not walked in the walked the walk of righteousness and holiness, repentance, obedience, always watching and listening for my voice will struggle. He's not saying you're going to be left behind. He's talking about a struggle you'll go through if you're not standing in the ways of God and really seeking him out. What soldier does not put his whole self into the fight? What soldier would come unequipped? What soldier would not obey the commander? What soldier would do things their way and leave fellow soldiers unprotected? 
What soldier will not die and put his life on the line for another? Who would die for freedom and for the cause they are fighting for? What God is asking you to do, for one thing, is to let God do the final cleansing, refining, whatever he needs to do in your life, healings. But we need to really seek the Lord that God with all our heart, soul, and mind. Fast, pray, and be ready to go forth. Align yourself to his will and his word and his ways. Okay? That doesn't mean you're going to be perfect. But remember, he says here, what soldier would not obey the commander? So he's looking for obedience. He's looking for his children that will lay all down. Lord, and I even told him when he gave me this, Lord, if you told me to get up right now and walk away from everything I know, from everything I have, I'd do it in a heartbeat. This is what he's asking you to do. Are you willing to surrender all? Are you willing to lay all down? Are you willing? Are you willing to obey every command he gives you? We're about to go into some kind of, um, let me see if I can find about this new era because I, let me see if I can find it. Oh, come on. Here, I had something that talked about a new era. Let me read this and then I better go. It's getting late, you know, time frame. Um, this is from Longman Dictionary of Contemporary English New Life Day Era. A period that is just beginning. Remember at the beginning of the year, he said, this is the year of new beginnings. Especially one, okay, um, did I get the wrong one? Let me find it. Uh, come on, come on. Got to hurry. I had, it, I had it pulled up, but I had to use this to read to you. Okay, here's what I wanted to read. Um, the, the period of time to which anything belongs or is to be assigned... Right away when I read that, I thought about getting our marching papers. And he talked about the army, our assignments we're about to do. But like what I did see is that we are about to walk into territory that is unknown to us, but not to God. So really be praying about this, that we're about to give birth to a new era. We're about to go forth into territory that's unknown to us. And we need to trust God. And go forth anyway, knowing that he has us, no matter what you see, no matter what, no matter what he asks you to do, obey always, okay? Stay repentant, humble, showing the love of God always, and pray for the things dear to his heart. I love you. Goodbye.